All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. And I'm Rob. And we are real time. Today, we got episode two of Baby Reindeer. First episode was absolutely crazy. Um, we got Donnie and Martha, the two main characters, probably the only characters so far. And yeah, pretty much Martha is just seems like a very lonely, sad person that is seemed to be just like waiting to find someone to latch on to. And she found that in Donnie, went into his bar every day, talking to him. And he, I mean, he gave her the time of day and that's all she needed to, to latch on to. And yeah, I don't know. We found out later on though, that she is a known stalker. She went to jail for it. So she's a serial stalker, a serial liar. And now I feel like he's like, oh crap, I've been entertaining this. Probably should not do that. Except at the end, though, he added her on Facebook. So what are you thinking, Donnie? Yeah, I'm just really scared for everything that's going to happen. Uh, the first episode, obviously, just dipping our toes into the water. Uh, I feel like that was just the beginning of what Martha is capable of doing. I don't know. She, she really scares me. And I'm just, I feel like Donnie is just going to continue to make horrible decisions but maybe not because now he knows that she's a convicted stalker hopefully that will make him uh put in some effort to try to distance himself from her but i mean she's literally gonna show up at his job every day and she's gonna show up at all of his comedy shows and she's gonna send him 80 emails a day like there's really no escape from her right now unless he goes to the police I'm wondering if, uh, like, how long of a period of time do you think that first episode took place over? Um, because I'm wondering, had, like, it, do you think, like, episode two is gonna start with, like, him at the police station? Like, do you think the episode one was, like, a six month period of time? I didn't think, I didn't take it for six okay. months. I, I was just wondering, I like, thought maybe, like, a couple weeks. Okay. Yeah, I just wasn't sure. Um, but it definitely did seem like, a decent period of time like it wasn't just like a couple days or anything but yeah i'm just really worried for donnie going into this episode and i'm really worried for my own well-being as well all right guys that's pretty much it though before we get into this episode if you guys are excited for these baby reindeer reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social medias and the address to our p.o box but yeah let's get into it baby reindeer episode two let's go i went to unfriend her many times but i always stopped myself why? She's ill. Misunderstood. Then came the comments on all my photos. Some as far back as when I first opened the account. I oh, hate it. I hate it. With my ex-girlfriend Keely, alongside these bizarre captions describing my every move. It's so bad already. Is she sorry official then? Yep. He's gonna delete it. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach. Well, Tony, whatever you're doing, it's working. All you seem to do is crack a bunch of jokes and leave early. A girl should be insulted. I hate that it intrigues me. This girl's gonna end up dead. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? philosophy go down well on the construction site does it tony hmm so he's lied about his name and job i met terry by signing Bro, up to a like he's not he's website. almost no then better I than her my name from donny to tony and invented a job and an entire persona as a means of keeping myself disguised bro like but i just couldn't bear the thought of anyone finding out i and it's a trans dating site that's what he said i get he doesn't want her to find him, but like, bro, you're actively lying to other people. I always meant to tell her about Tony, but the more I fell for her, the more I found myself putting it off. Yeah, I could, I could see a world where Martha finds out and tells the girl about, like, who he is. I want to crawl out of my own skin right now. Zip it down from the chin. No, <laughs> zip it up. Belly. Keep it zipped. Where were you last night? You need to tell me if you're not working. Why? Have you floated in that canal somewhere, face down? 
you know, the one you go through when you walk to the bus from work. Oh. Junkies and thieves, all kinds. Asians. You should be careful. Junkies, weird, thieves, Asians. Weird last last one. So who are you texting? I'm sorry? It wasn't that Keely Bent, was it? No, Martha, if you must know, Keely's just an old friend, okay? Men and women can't be friends. Are you guys not friends? Are you fucking her? What? No, Martha, I'm not. Now will you drop it, please? Don't worry, reindeer. I know you're single. You don't sing into a girl's soul like that with a tart on the side. That'd be cruel. She just, it reads too deep into everything. Anyway, I'll get you inside. He knows he fucked up. He's... How does he get out of this? Yeah. That's why I think we should lay low for a while. Why does she call you Johnny? Oh, she, she calls me lots of things. Um, funny bones, nipple head. Baby reindeer? Donnie is, like, a very convenient name to have. Because don't, like, British dudes like, oh, look at that Donnie over there. The I don't know. <laughs> What's that Donnie doing? Oh. Uh, what did I say? The heart. I don't go there anymore. According to the females, you were there yesterday. I wasn't. She's just lying. Okay, now, like, you're I weird. Oh, I, I, I don't think it merits. I mean, it's not that bad. But bad enough that we need to lay low for a while. Oh, it's so bad. Apart from a few random emails, it really isn't all that much. Dude, what? I drag you into it, you know? She's fabricated an entire identity for herself. Does that not scream alarm bells, Tony? Well, I don't know about that. I mean, people lie for all sorts of reasons. Not like this. It's literally what he's doing right now, is creating a false identity for himself. I might have to come to Camden and pay her a visit myself. Nope. Don't do that. Hey, little nipple. Dude, this seems like a nightmare. Two pound fifty, please. Oh, charging. You never charge me. I have to. I just think maybe it's time we drew a few boundaries. You said about the curtains. I know, and that was a joke. I'm a comedian. I made jokes. This is all been a big wind up, has it? I, I don't want to imagine her when she doesn't like, like when she is mad at you. You said a lot of shit to me, reindeer. Yeah, no, Martha, please don't cry. What is it? The age gap. Oh. Nah, bro. Why aren't you just honest? Because he's scared of her, I guess. Kids, you know, like a, a big family. It's, it's, it's gonna matter. Like the only reason is the age gap. That's just not a good. I mean, it worked, I guess, but. Oh hell no! What? Did my account with email after email detailing periods, tampons, blood clots, reinforcing this image of her fertility? There was no excuse now in her eyes. What? Every morning now, Martha would arrive exactly two hours before the pub opened. Then all day she would trail me around the bar, talking endlessly about our future together. Oh, hell no. Popping up at the most inopportune moments to talk about our future together. Our wedding day. What we were going to call our kids. I think I could do three if we move quickly. I've even been thinking of what to call them, too. And you still think that this isn't appropriate for the police yet? Egg Egbert. <laughs> Frankie baby from the duet of Frankie Sinatra. He had a gorgeous tush too. Martha, I've got hot fucking place. Fuck no. Just Dude, stop it. The semi-final, by the way. What? Tickets for your competition. Gonna come down and empty my lungs. Been learning a new duet too. I'm thinking Kylie and Jason. What semi-final? It's like a comedy competition, I think. And I he said that he won thing. last time. I could give you a full erection. <laughs> 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 That was kind of funny. Look, I'm just getting a bad feeling. I mean, look at all these emails she's been sending me. Yeah. They're not going to take it serious. That is proper nuts. Now do you get my point? Which one is that? The one where you beg her for anal sex. What are you talking about? Yeah. Looks to me like you've been begging her for anal sex, mate. Did they send one? You wrote back. Are you fucking kidding me? 
shit you actually sent it. Are you stupid? Oh, no, dude. Just see it as a joke. No, no. Oh, it's going to go to another level, bro. I'd move away. I'd actually move. Oh, wow. You made it. You know I picked the gaze bar intentionally just to see if you'd crack. Martha's going to be here. Did I give you consent to put your arms around my waist? You did, actually, when you turned up in that skimpy little dress. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, I just on love. Dude, Martha's going to come with the message. Oh, my God, I fucking love this song. Come on, let's dance. Let's dance. Oh, I need to take deep breaths, bro. Here in my car. I do love this song. What have you done with him? Where's Tony? Cars. Banner, banner. Well, tell him that's illegal. What is? Sleeping with someone under a false identity. Is it? Yeah. Oh. What's your name then, Tony? Oh, wait. Uh, Donnie. Oh, that's what Martha calls you. Um, I'll tell you what, let me just, um, one second, yeah? We can. Ripping the key bumps. Oh, uh. there it goes. Have you know I googled her? Why didn't you tell me that she'd been to jail before? Didn't seem relevant. See what I mean? Any sane person who was getting stalked by- The fuck is not relevant about that? I'm just saying. There's a reason you're keeping her around, and maybe it's not so much who she is, but what she gives you. I want Martha to be here. Yeah, I want Martha to- I mean, I, I'm <laughs> gonna freak out, but I feel like it's gonna happen. But here I was, the woman of my dreams before me. Tony the Builder, four stops away from a sex crime. Oh my god, I'm way drunker than I thought I was. Annoyingly, just as my sobriety returns. <laughs> just, uh, just keep it down a bit. He's a little like tweaking about being seen with her. What's it gonna take for you to finally give me a proper kiss? <laughs> it's staring at him. No fucking way. What the fuck is he doing? Self-sabotaging. No way, Martha's there. <laughs> no, Bad and that e time. the email she just got, bro. You filthy fucker. I've never taken it up the chapter. I might make concessions for you. Look, Martha, just go back home. You're really getting on my nerves with this dilly dally hot and cold shit. Get out of my way, Martha. No. Bro, please explain your f friend sent it. Men who don't fancy me are either blind or gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't see you reaching for the banister when you climb the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. It was a man, wasn't it? Uh-oh. I'm just gonna turn and walk away, and you're not to follow. Do you understand? I'm Mrs. Globy, because I'm always on the blob. Tag. Get off me, Martha. Tag. Fuck off. Tag. I'm serious, Martha. Get off me. I'm not messing. Oh, it's gonna get fucking bad, bro. As soon as she starts getting mad, like, it's gonna get scary. I'm serious, Martha. Stop right now. Do it. Fucking, what the fuck are you doing, Martha? I told you to stop, Martha. I'm push her in. Push her in. He's gonna push her in. Oh, hand on his willy. Hand on his willy. Hand on his willy. Keep still. Oh, no. Oh, I fucking hate it so much. I'm making you beat. He's terrified. I think my man Donnie has to do some soul searching here soon. Because I think it's evident. 
he's de he's went through some shit and he just doesn't really know himself right now uh, because the decisions he's making are just very questionable and like Terry was saying at the bar like you should be going to the police you're entertaining this like what is the reason do you kind of like enjoy it do you like being the, like one-sided love like that and then obviously he I don't know if at the end there he like accepted that or just froze out of fear but i don't know dude like i don't know and then like the whole thing of him like kind of dating a trans woman but then being ashamed of it at the same time and not accepting that it's like seems like he's kind of like having like a identity crisis or something i don't know what to think about him but yeah, I mean, it did definitely got a little bit more intense this episode. Actual, like, sexual assault at the end. Like, a, another crime was committed that you would certainly want to report to the police immediately. But I got a really weird feeling he's not going to do that. So, we'll just have to see. I, I'm I'm very interested to to learn what Martha did to make him go to the police because like what she's done already is just so so intense and crazy and i mean there had to have been a breaking point right so at some point like it's gonna be too much and he's gonna go to the cops what the hell could that possibly be like it's already to me just like as um, it's not as bad as it can get i i, I keep saying it but like once once Martha stops like wanting to love him and starts like hating him or being mad at him, it's just gonna be a whole other ball game. I feel like she's gonna be ten times worse. But was in the first episode, like the first scene of him reporting, was he wearing his like comedian outfit? Do you remember? I don't remember now. I, I feel have like no maybe idea. he was, but maybe not. I also I, I really don't like that he's lying to terry about who he is and what he does like i understand the whole like him using the fake name or whatever to so that martha can't find him but at the same time like if you're gonna be in a relationship with someone like you you can't i don't think he's using the fake name so martha can't find him right oh it, it was so like people he didn't know i just think he's ashamed on, yeah because it was a transgender yeah, dating site yeah. so he didn't want people like knowing he was on there mm -hmm. yeah i i yeah i don't know it's just I, I just really don't like the fact that he's giving a fake name and a fake job it's it's, it's like almost like what martha does with the whole like i'm a lawyer and i do this like obviously not to the same extent but like uh, being in a relationship with someone and then like you don't actually even know who they are is a pretty scary thing to think about like I wouldn't be surprised if Terry like freaked out and just dumped him as soon as she finds out that uh, he's Donnie like they were joking about it in this episode like I'm my twin Donnie like that's his real name he actually is Donnie and I just uh, I don't know I mean what he did backing out of the subway this episode was nuts like i don't know if their relationship is even gonna continue but um if it does i just i'm worried for terry because i don't want her to get anywhere near martha because martha is terrifying and I, I i just feel bad for her in this situation just because donnie doesn't know who he is and who he wants to be and is just lying to her openly i don't know it's a it's a tough tough spot to be in but uh, i'm sure next episode will be even more stressful all right guys that is it there for this episode if you guys enjoyed the reaction please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we have our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social media is in the address to our p.o box we will catch you guys next time for episode three of baby reindeer peace out